Athletic training is a major, I can't say it's been around for a very long time. We, for the most part, are working with students who want to pursue the profession of athletic training. With regard to the way our program is set up, the first year they'll do some observational experience just to make sure that this is in fact what they want to do and what they want to pursue. Most of their formal athletic training courses start in the second semester of their sophomore year and go all the way through until they complete the degree. Then they have junior level or third year clinicals and then they have capstone clinicals. There's some general courses in anatomy, exercise physiology, kinesiology, and then when you really get into the program, it gets into evaluation of orthopedic injuries. You have clinical time on top of your class time, so you're in that athletic training room working with athletes, doing all the skills that you've learned about in class. For a lot of our students that are wanting to pursue athletic training as a career, they're coming here because they were an athlete themselves, they were injured when they were an athlete, and an athletic trainer had an impact on their recovery. We've had some students that have had no experience with an athletic trainer or with athletics. We do have some students that are coming to choose athletic training as a degree because it's m most closely aligned with what they want to do for graduate school. I've always been interested in sports, I always played them growing up, and anatomy and like biomechanics and stuff like that has always really interested me, so I kind of wanted to go into something to have to do with that. In the second year, we have four straight laboratory courses, and in those laboratory courses, it's taking a lot of the knowledge that they've had in previous courses and actually getting to practice hands-on skills. Then when they transition to the clinical courses, that's where students actually get to apply the knowledge that they've been learning, apply the skills that they've been practicing. I prefer hands-on just because it's more interesting to me. I think the classroom learning is also completely necessary because you learn it in the classroom and then you reinforce the information that you've learned in the clinic while doing hands-on. So primarily when we talk about athletic training as a profession, the nice thing is that students can graduate with a bachelor's degree and they can go out and work straight off the bat. Some of our students will opt to get their master's degree because they know that they want to work at the college level. My dream job is to work with high performance athletes doing rehab and strength training. I do like all parts of athletic training, but the evaluation and the rehab and strength training is what I really enjoy. I think that there's a couple of different things that our students truly enjoy about the program. One of them is the hands-on learning that, that does happen, especially within the clinical setting. We have a lot of off-campus sites that give the students a different view, give them a different picture about what athletic training is like. That's something I think that the students really enjoy is getting that exposure outside of the Keene State Clinical. You get to know the athletes and you get to go watch sporting events all the time. You hardly miss a home sporting event. You're making it possible for the athlete to know whether or not they can participate in their sport or what they need to do to improve their performance, or get over a certain injury or something like that. So. If you're instructing them on how to do a certain thing that day, hopefully that will progress into them getting stronger and returning to their sport.